Good afternoon. Uh, Steve Harmon here, Oakland Cemetery, Hampton, Virginia. Uh, this is a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation uh, with some pictures on one of the first stones that I've set. Uh, this one is uh, Mr. Bailey. He's a World War I veteran. I talked with uh, one of his family members. <clears throat> excuse me, and they asked about resetting the stone, and I said I'd be happy to do it. <clears throat> so, remember now, uh, this is an abandoned cemetery. Uh, there are no funds, and so, uh, and I'm a volunteer. So what I did, I uh, I was able to come up with, uh, say, some four by fours. Uh, somebody threw away some fence posts, and I cut the ends off of it. And, uh, you'll be able to see. Uh, some of the equipment <clears throat> that I bought was some all thread nuts and washers and I bought some uh, uh, small bell bar weights that I tried to use as big washers and so uh, uh, I haven't seen many videos on YouTube far as uh, resetting stones this way but this is one of the methods that I tried it worked it was time consuming uh, and but it worked <clears throat> all right this is a map all right this is a <clears throat> i don't know how old this map is but it, it was uh in a book at the at the hampton library <clears throat> so one thing i wanted to show here was across the top here you can see in red it's like a to z so this is labeled for example a to z then along the side, let's say it's 1 to 100, it's set up like an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, it would be good, uh, like, for example, the locations of graves, <clears throat> a lot of them didn't use it. Okay, I know there's other types of maps out there. I don't have the experience or the resources, but uh, I see some of the locations are different. So I, I just don't know, uh, but I do use this. And... Uh, this bridge works pretty good. And you can also find this on uh, Find a Grave. If you click on the picture for Oakland Cemetery and scan through the pictures, uh, close to the last one, uh, there's a picture of this. But I'm also going to try to post one. All right, this is uh, the beginning. So this is, I put a level across this. And uh, I uh, took a picture of it. Okay. This I didn't. This is three years old. So I did this three years ago, and it, today is uh, September the twelfth, twenty twenty-two. So, but you can see the level that I put. And it's a little crooked. Okay, this basically is finished. All right, uh, it's been reset. I did it just to show the uh, the stone. Uh, but I got a piece of nylon around it, and it's hard to see because you're looking straight on. But there's there's uh, stiffeners, there's uh, pipes sticking in here. <clears throat> there's pipes on the other side. This, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what, what's supporting it. It was at the end of the day. It was a good stopping point. So I took this and tied around the yellow around it in case somebody had come around. And so, all right, this is a, a side view of it. Um, lifting it and you can see here that uh, I had quite a few issues here might be hard to see but right over here you can see it's kind of crooked and if you see down here at the bottom <clears throat> I just got some weight some nuts and what I did was uh, I used the nuts to for example to jack it up from the bottom and I used one 10 by 10s some of the issues I had was when I dug along the side and the edges you can see there wasn't much room, much room. So I did make adjustments the next time. Uh, you can see where I put the altar. I drilled holes out here. And I also put stiffeners across on each side. Because when I started lifting this thing, <clears throat> it really got wobbly. And you'll see in the next photo. But you can see this one's crooked. I had to take a piece of nylon and tie around here. Just to try to keep these from uh, expanding out. And we'll take a note here how I lashed it up. But, you know, if you just do the ends, it'll work out pretty good. All right, let's go to the next slide. <clears throat> so you can see how crooked this is. Well, and you can see, 
at the bottom here and you can see how I got it lashed up and you can see there's a big difference <clears throat> there's a big difference but it was low uh, and it did work but as you jack it you got to keep them stiffeners or wedges in there and that'll help support it you can jack it little by little it was a long process but it worked okay this is same as the front ones you can see where I got the stiffeners got a stiffener here 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 and one back here and then I just tied the nylon around it to uh, keep it out of view from maybe somebody walking into it <clears throat> sticking the flowers in it and right now I have uh, I have support underneath the bottom I may have some bricks under there some large stones to try to help support it because it, it, it could be really soft and so it took a little time but I got it took several days uh, this is the uh, end, end view. Like I said, the uh, terrain or the grade is really off. Right? The, the stone is level. And here you can see his veteran stone. Maybe I'll get a top view and add it. But this is him in World War I. And this is Mr. Bailey stone here. <clears throat> and that's, that's one of the neighbors. He comes over for lunch. He eats lunch. Then wants to play hide and seek. Then he goes to sleep. All right, this is an atom stone, which also is in section five. And uh, worked on resetting this one. So I did make some adjustments. This was done two years later, okay, from the first one. <clears throat> so basically, this was the second one that I did at this size. All right, there's the map again. All right, and you see how I dug around the ends of it. <clears throat> So I dug really close on the sides, as you can see, to get around, and then on the bottom. Now this is, this goes, this piece of concrete, it's in some concrete here, so it goes way down. But it, I did grab it. It's hard to see here, but if you if you go way down, then your lift rig won't won't pick it up. But <clears throat> just dig real narrow. All right, this is the other end, and you can see I got a wedge in there. Got a wedge. All right. Now you can see here around here. See, I got some four by fours and some two by fours. You see over here, I got a four by four, and it did shorten this distance here. And so what I did have, and you can see these stiffeners I got on this one here. See, I got these stiffeners. <clears throat> and what I did was uh I had two hydraulic jacks that I purchased for like $20 each two of them two ton jacks and so what i did i had some plates and some other pieces of wood and i jack it up and then i would take these screws and screw them up my hand it'd be like jack stands and it worked real well but also what i tried as you can see look how i got this one rigged on this end it, it did it it stretches a lot but that's what i did and uh, as you can also see it's sticking out further so it's sticking out Maybe if I get some more 4x4s, four I'll go out further. Uh, but almost, not almost, but a lot of stones, you're going to have to like custom fit these as far as the size and width. You could drill holes like every six inches or so, but, you know, that's down the road. All right, now you can see, now that one is a whole lot leveler. You can see the stiffener here. And maybe there's some more blocks of wood. There's the wedges in each end. What I did, I took 4 by 4s and cut them two and three foot long and cut them, you know, taping them off on the end for wedges because when you work by yourself, most of it is done by yourself, you know, you need long stuff. All right, now, here's the end of it. Now, if you see how I rigged this one up, see, so I think this is probably a better way than doing it the other way. The other thing I was going to try was because this stretches so much, you know, you can use chain or wire rope, <clears throat> but I don't have any flapping, and uh, I think it would work, you know, but like I said, I, I just didn't go I use this nylon, it's pretty strong, and it, it does pretty good, as long as it does the job.